Okay, what's your name? Daniel Diaz. D-I-A-Z? D-I-A-Z. Oh, you're Texas uh, Parks and Wildlife? Yes, Game sir. Board. Game Board. Uh, so, you know, you've been out here before uh, sunup this morning, you know, been at all day. Tell me a little bit about what you've been through. Well, so far today we've managed to uh, drag and uh, search with either with our boats and also hand off the bank. Uh, we just got through with the uh, use of a cadaver dog, which he has a better nose than we do. So we tried him and uh, it no success. So we're still going to continue to drag and, and uh, physically uh, go out there and, and look. Hopefully, maybe by now she surfaced. What about the currents on this river? I know the water's down since yesterday. The currents seem like they're pretty... Yeah, the current's running pretty good right now. Uh, I think we gauged it with a GPS and it was something like uh, 2.4, so it's moving. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a different story underneath. We like, you know, we don't have a clue down there. And uh, yeah, we are picking up logs and stuff, and uh, a lot more logs are coming up. So, you know, like I said, we we don't know what's going underneath. Yeah, there's always a chance she's probably going to be hung underneath. That's always a possibility, sure. Like it used to be? No. <laughs> okay. Black, uh, negro. Yeah, negro. right. Mm -hmm. uh, chongo, I don't know, no sé cómo se llama chongo. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. okay. El nombre de la niña. El nombre de la niña y la tragedia y que los rescatistas van a seguir haciendo su trabajo. You got a, a child's name, right? Yeah, what is, what is the baby's name? Simona. Ramona? Yeah, Lopez. Okay. At what time is it going to come out? Probably tonight at 10 o'clock. One of our child, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. They, all there were there, you know. My children, my children they were there too, so that, that's what really... I mean, kind of, you had your children out there too? Yeah, they were, they were playing too, mm -hmm. in the water, and I got two. got two children. Tell me what happened out here. <laughs> well, we just come just today to have a picnic, and uh, all the families under the bridge, we have a dinner. And the pastor said, when we come and finish the dinner, we come over here and try and swim and everything. So we go all the way down over there, but close to where you are before. Mm -hmm. So we started swimming over there, and somebody said, no, it's too deep over here. So we, we, we tell all the children to come on up, down, uh, up to the north, mm -hmm. like uh, this way. So we, we barely we found one place, so it looked look to me like a pretty safe. And all the children started swimming. So one of the sisters and, and Jesus Christ said, hey, I think we see a hair just on the top. So we started counting all the children. And then we, we notice it's missing one. And the little person that's missing right now is um, Ramona Maria Lopez. Okay. So did she, was she out in quite deep water? Or? Yes. It was pretty deep where she was at? It's pretty deep because uh, maybe two feet is a uh, real, not too deep, but way down it's a little more deep. Now, y'all been out here all day ever since, I know they started out here about 5.30 this morning. Y'all came out about 8.30, 9 o'clock. Uh, hoping to find the child. Yes, sir. And how do you, how y'all feeling right now? I mean, what does that how does that affect you? Just sitting here watching them <coughs> working on this. Well, we really want to. Um, we don't feel too good because when the, we lost a, a member of the family and Jesus Christ, uh, we don't expect to feel too good, especially when the, maybe we expect it and expect it the baby coming out mm -hmm. but um, we still have a hope we can find that the body is only it's the only hope so you're right right almost right behind us where you where they were swimming at is almost directly behind us yes sir okay Alrighty. and what is your name my name is jesus and spell your last name for me please C E N D E J A S. okay thank you 
Okay, Sheriff, tell me uh, what all have they accomplished. I know you've been out here quite early this morning, but not at all day. What's yeah. The, what's going now? What's happening now? Well, they've been dragging, and with a uh, couple of boats in the areas that were, we think the most likely area to be. And we've got some other areas down here that uh, got so many treetops in it that it's almost impossible to drag. Uh, we have had a boat down there, and I just went down there with the, uh, the game warden, and, and they've been uh, shaking those treetops and checking the treetops along the bank line for about five or six miles. Uh, they're going to continue on until dark, and uh, we'll be back at 6.30 in the morning if we don't have any luck. Uh, we, we do have uh, some cadaver dogs that uh, uh, will be here in the morning. We're going to have the uh, helicopter hit in this morning make a flight over in the morning in case the body does come up tonight. Uh, but uh, we'll be back at it with the, the same crew with a, uh, with a couple of additions by in the morning at 6.30. Y'all have had drownings here before. I mean, this is what, the first one this year at this point? This is this the first one this year, uh, but we've had a... Oh, in the last two or three years, we've had six or seven right here at this one spot. The current and the debris causes a lot of problems, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it, the uh, debris in the area causes a, a recovery operation, hinders it. Uh, I know you've been out here and uh, observed some of the uh, drag, and, and uh, it gets hung up in the uh, treetops. Daigle, D-H-E-L-E, right? Right. Okay, tell us what happened this morning. Shortly after 8 o'clock, the body of Ramon Lopez, six years old, was recovered on Trinity River, approximately two and a half miles from where she uh, went under the water at. Okay, and uh, what was the circumstances on the find? Was it helicopter? Uh, you had dogs out here, helicopters, everything? Right, we had a, uh, a cadaver dog from New Iberia, Louisiana Sheriff's Department, and uh, SkyMed helicopter flew over and actually saw the body and located it. And what happens now? Uh, Judge Fitzgerald, Precinct 3, Liberty County, has ordered autopsy. Body will be taken to Jefferson County Marg, and autopsy will be performed there. This stretch of the river here, uh, I know we're saying someone did some research on it. Tell me what, what they found, and I mean, what, uh, tell me a little bit about this river right here in this area. It's very dangerous. It's uh, strong current, undertows. There's a lot of deep holes, a lot of obstructions under the water, a lot of trees. Um, we were told that there's approximately 116 people who's drowned in the Trinity River since 1985. All those haven't been in Liberty County, but uh, a large majority of them have been. Okay, and how many drownings have you had here in the past several years? I believe it's going to be in the neighborhood of about 35 in the last 10 years, That's right here on this beach. Okay. Okay, can you tell me what happened out here this morning? And shortly after 8 o'clock, the body of uh, Ramona Lopez, five years old from Beaumont, was recovered approximately two and a half miles downstream from where she went under the water at. Okay, your name first? Henry Bigger. Spell your last name? B-I-G-G-E-R. And you're a pilot with? Uh, P-H-I Air Medical Services in the Houston area. And you were assisting what, uh, Liberty County this morning? Tell me what happened. Uh, it was Liberty County EMS, uh, apparently a uh, uh, six-year-old, approximately six-year-old female at uh, Came missing in Trinity River at uh, I believe that's Moss Hill, out on 105 uh, East, and uh, we went out and picked up a, uh, a ride along EMS person out of Jasper, I think Jasper EMS. Uh, proceeded to the search area. He had a blocked out two mile length of the river. We started north, uh, 
down in the riverbed and uh, came upon the, uh, the body of the little girl uh, lodged into an uh, old tree. Uh, there was an alligator approximately 20 yards from her. Uh, we spooked the alligator off and uh, called the appropriate uh, game warden who was in a boat and led them to the spot uh, where they recovered the body. And he said they had to get the helicopter down several times over the gator pushed back and he kept uh, trying to run for it? Yeah, the first time I, uh, I got over there, he ran off. Uh, we went to altitude because we were in a low low area to contact him on mutual aid. Came back, he had he had approached the body one more time. I hovered down to, uh, to spook him off uh, approximately three times but prior to the boat arriving. And I believe when the game warden showed up, he was still in the area. They, they uh, ran him off before they recovered the body. Pretty fast there for yeah. I'm better off than that family standing up there. So I wouldn't want to be them. I've got a girl of my own. Well, that's why I'm here. Thought about it, but I think I like this idea better.
Yeah, here comes the one right behind it with the dog. Oh, he almost fell. Yeah. He should know better than that. He actually. just about fell. He just about went over the side. Okay.